Orcha today is a small village 18 kilometers from Jhansi but during the time of the Mughals it was the capital of the Bundela kings who reigned in the region it was much later that Rani Lakshmi Bai and Jhansi became famous during the first war of the Indian independence the village is divided into two by the main road on one side is the more bustling part which includes the famous Ram Raja temple while the most stately palaces lie on the other side of the road. The river Betwa flows quietly past the palaces. Passing through the rustic scenery of 21st century Bundelkhand, the sudden sight of these grand 17th century palaces is truly astounding. The temple of Raja Ram means more to the local pilgrims and the many sadhus add color to this small place. The palace complex is remarkable with two huge palaces, the Raj Mahal and the Jahangir Mahal. Today they are mute but 300 years ago the lives of the residents of these palaces was intimately intertwined with those of the more famous Mughals who lived not far away in Agra. These frescoes that have survived the tide of the times are breathtaking. They show scenes from fights, from the royal courts, as well as illustrations which depict scenes from history and the epics. They are now preserved and are shown to the English, Italian and French and even Spanish speaking tourists by guides who have learned these foreign languages. Around the main palaces are the lesser ruins. Principal among them is the house of the royal mistress, Rai Parveen. Legend has it that the Mughal Samrat coveted her, but with her ready wit and grace she won the emperor over and her way back to Orcha. The pleasure garden, the fresco pavilion, is today an undisturbed haven. And here we found a group of bio weavers busy with their nest making. During the evening, the palace complex comes alive with the sound and light show, which captures the palace intrigues of the bygone days in many hues. The river Betwa is an important character in this hideaway. Today, 
it is a public bathing and washing place but earlier it was a spectator to history which is present today as the splendid chhatris or memorials to the bundela kings of orisha There was a brief shower before we reached this place and the vultures spread out their wings to dry them creating new patterns on the domes and spires We were all very happy when we returned from Orcha